Hey guys, welcome to Coder Station. In today's video, we will see the internal working of Python, the full journey, how you write the code, and how you get the output. So let's get started. So on my screen, you are able to see a diagram. This diagram represents the internal working of Python. So first is the source code. Second one is the interpreter. In interpreter, there is a compiler, byte code and virtual machine. And we also have library modules and we have a running code. So first you write a source code and save it with a .py extension. Then this code when you click on the run button is sent to the interpreter. Now what this interpreter does, it sends the code to the compiler. Compiler checks whether it has any syntax error. If it founds any error in the syntax or any logical error, it will revert back to you. Once you clear that syntax error and logical error, it will again compile the code and form a byte code of it. Byte code is nothing but a code written in machine readable format. This code is understood only by the machine and this code once created can be run on any other computer. Then we have a virtual machine. Virtual machine is a machine which do not occupy the space on the hard disk physically but it virtually access your hard disk by taking some space uh, in the sort of RAM and in your hard disk. And then we have library modules in the virtual machine. When this both actually process your code, you are getting the running code as your output. So I'll repeat it. First you write the source code, then the code is sent to interpreter, then the code is compiled. If any error is found, compiler reverts back to you. You solve that errors and then it compiles again and forms a byte code. After the byte code, byte code is sent to the virtual machine for processing the code and you are getting a running code. I hope your doubts are clear regarding internal working of Python. Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet soon in the next videos.